Hello, you're watching Hornbill TV's Prime Time, and now the headlines. Just six days ahead of the Lok Sabha elections, violence once again broke out in Manipur after relative calm for some time. Amidst escalating election related violence, Section 144 of the CRPC has been imposed in Basar town of Arunachal Pradesh's Leparada district. In a blow to the ruling alliance in the state going into the upcoming Lok Sabha elections, he's manifesto for the Coimbatore Lok Sabha constituency from where he is contesting the upcoming polls. Now the news in detail. Just six days ahead of the Lok Sabha elections, violence once again broke out in Manipur after relative calm for some time. So far, one person named Ning Thaujam Jamesh Singh, around 24 years of age, has reportedly sustained injuries in the gunfights that broke out at Penyang village. The injured person is said to be from Hairok Patu, Maning Laikai in Thubal district of Manipur. The gunfiring has been reported to have started since the intervening night. Villages and eyewitnesses said it was the first report of firing since the announcement of Lok Sabha election dates. The Lok Sabha election is scheduled to be held on the 19th for the Inner Manipur constituency, while for the Outer Manipur constituency, the voting is scheduled to be held on 26th April. In spite of all the efforts by law enforcing agencies, violence has been reported in the state. It remains to be seen how quickly security agencies respond to the latest development. Amidst escalating election-related violence, Section 144 of the CRPC has been imposed in Basar town of Arunachal Pradesh's Leparada district. The Deputy Commissioner Atul Tayeng issued the order, citing numerous unauthorized checkpoints manned by individuals and groups causing significant inconvenience to the general public and have raised apprehensions regarding potential law and order disturbances. The order had underlined the gravity of the situation as the state gears up for simultaneous elections, the State Legislative Assembly and Lok Sabha in 2024. Carrying of lethal weapons, gathering of more than four persons from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. have been prohibited. Ahead of the first phase of Lok Sabha polls on Friday, during poll campaign in Upper Assam's Chabwa, Assam Chief Minister attacked Congress leader Gaurav Gogoi, who is contesting from Jorhat and questioned his religious allegiance. Sarma cited Gogoi's attendance at Eid Namaz along with independent MLA Akhil Gogoi at Sivasagar, and also holding rallies and agitation along with Rahul Gandhi during Nayatra in Assam on the day of Ram Mandir consecration. The BJP leader also alleged that Gogoi was trying to use appeasement politics on Muslim society. However, said Muslims needs development and jobs. Juakali Hibo Hagorot Namas Pohis. Aro Mutamoti Gorob Gogol Monot a Tai Prosna. The Jidina Khan Ram Mondir Potista Huisin. Eke Idhatmik Pobitrota Gorob Gogoi or Hil Gogoi Kyonu Hokoranas. Ram Mandir jethi ap lok amar ajudhat pran potista hoy sil. Hindi na khon Rajib Rahul Gandhi kloi Gorab Gogoy Nogaon rastat dhorna koriya sil. Idor poti jito khon man he to by ekke utsa udhi ponale Hanuman Mandir aur jaun ne na jaun. Ek gute prosna bur amar monoloya hai. Ami bissa koru. যে অসমৰ মুছলমান সকলৰ সমস্যা তুষ্টিকৰণৰে সম্ভৱ নহয় 
তেওঁলোকে সরকারি চাকরি পাব লাগিব পড়া শুনা করিব লাগিব সমাজত আগুয়াই যাব লাগিব কারোবার লগত নামাজ আদায় কর আদা করি কিন্তু দুখিয়াজনৰ ঘর নবনাও দুখিয়াজনক সরকারি চাকৰি নিদিও বাল্য বিবাহৰ বিৰুদ্ধে মাত নামাতো হি কেতিয়াও এটা জাতি বা সম্প্ৰদায়ক ভাল পোৱা নবুজায় গৌৰৱ গগৈ ডাঙৰিয়াই এটা মহা পাপ কৰিছিল যেতিয়া ৰাম মন্দিৰৰ প্ৰাণ প্ৰতিষ্ঠা হোৱাৰ সময়ত তেওঁ নগাঁও ৰাজপথত ৰাহুল গান্ধীক তেল মাৰিবৰ কাৰণে যিটো ধৰ্ণা ধৰ্মঘট কৰিলে সেই দৃশ্য আজিও মোৰ মনত আছে এফালে নামাজ এফালে ৰাম মন্দিৰ প্ৰতিষ্ঠা হোৱাৰ দিনাখন আন্দোলন ভূপেন বৰাই যেতিয়া কৃষ্ণক লাভ জেহাদী বুলি কৈছিল যে কৃষ্ণ এগৰাকী লাভ জেহাদী আছিলে সেই সময়ত গৌৰৱ গগৈ ক'ত গৈছিল সেই সময়তো তেওঁ আমালৈকে মনত পৰা নাছিল অসমৰ সমগ্ৰ সমাজখনে কৃষ্ণক বিশ্বাস কৰে কৃষ্ণক লাভ জেহাদী বুলি কোৱাৰ সময়ত গৌৰৱ গগৈ ক'ত আছিল অখিল গগৈ ক'ত আছিল গতিকে এই ব্যক্তিসকলে তুষ্টিকৰণৰ ৰাজনীতি কৰিব খোজে কাকো ভাল নাপায় না হিন্দুক ভাল পায় না মুছলমানক ভাল পায় না খ্ৰীষ্টিয়ানক ভাল পায় তুষ্টিকৰণৰ ৰাজনীতি হৈছে তেওঁলোকৰ হকিউজ আব্দুল মথিন তাহা এণ্ড মুছাবের হুছেন সাজেব ইন দ্য ৰমেশ্বৰম কেফে ব্লাষ্ট কেছ ৱাজ ব্ৰট টু দি এন আই কোৰ্ট ইন কলকাতা আফটাৰ ৰিপৰ্টেলি ট্ৰেছ out from the hideout near Kolkata and were apprehended during the early morning of April 12th near Kolkata where they were hiding using fake identities. NIA was supported by coordinated action and cooperation between central intelligence agencies and state police agencies of West Bengal, Telangana, Karnataka and Kerala police. NIA got three days transit remand of the two prime suspects in the Rameshwaram Cafe Blast case. Nagaland's Deputy Chief Minister and BJP leader Y Patton on Thursday reached Leipung Tampak village in Manipur's Chandel district to campaign for NDA's consensus candidate NPF's Kachri Timothy Zimik for Outer Manipur parliamentary constituency. Speaking at one of the programs, Patton told the gathering that Prime Minister Modi has a special focus on North East India and under his dynamic leadership, the region has been developed to a large extent in the last 10 years. Patton appealed to the Christian community not to be misled by the false propaganda of the Congress that BJP is a Hindu party, anti-Christian, also stating that BJP upholds secularism. He expressed confidence that the BJP, along with its alliance partners, will win more than 380 to 390 seats in the Lok Sabha. In a blow to the ruling alliance in the state, going into the upcoming Lok Sabha elections, Nationalist Democratic Progressive Party leader James Kotsu and former BJP leader Kidonga Mpanmai joined the Congress on Thursday in the presence of the party state chief S. Subung Marin Jameer. Kidonga Mpanmai, Modi-led BJP government. The NPCC warmly welcomes the new entrants into the party fold and wishes them well as they embark upon a new chapter in their political journey under the progressive and secular ideals of the Indian National Congress, the statement added. Polling for the lone parliamentary constituency of Nagaland is scheduled to take place on April 19th. The counting of votes has been scheduled for June 4th. The ruling Nationalist Democratic Progressive Party won the 2019 Lok Sabha elections in the state while the Naga People's Front came out victors in the 2014 polls. We'll be right back after a short break, so stay tuned for more news. प्रतिरोधक सीमेंट से नहीं बना तो पड़ेगा रोना पानी घुसने से कंक्रीट कमजोर हो जाए स्टार वेदर शीट सीमेंट खराब मौसम में घर वेदर प्रूफ बनाए स्टार वेदर शीट जल प्रतिरोधक सीमेंट वेदर प्रूफ घर
डर मत टाइगर है ना ब्लैक टाइगर सीमेंट Join BSc Nursing and GNM at Saint Martha Institute of Nursing Guwahati under SN Group of Institutions. Darmat Tiger hai na? Black Tiger Cement. Welcome back. 102 parliamentary constituencies in 21 states are scheduled for polling on 19th April 2024, in which 127 general observers, 67 police observers, and 167 expenditure observers have been deployed. Election Commission on Friday reviewed the preparedness for the first phase of general elections and interacted with over 350 election observers across the country. Rajiv Kumar, Chief Election Commissioner, accompanied with Election Commissioners Gyanesh Kumar and Sukhbir Singh Sandhu, has asked all the observers to strictly ensure that polling stations contain all amenities for voters, especially to combat heat. No inducements are offered close to voting of first phase. Forces are optimally utilized and law and order is kept under strict watch. Election Commission of India on Thursday tweeted and shared a voter awareness initiative where scuba divers in Chennai dove into the sea enacting the voting process 60 feet underwater in Nilankarai. Tamil Nadu BJP President and former IPS officer K. Annamalai on Friday released the party's manifesto for the Coimbatore Lok Sabha constituency from where he is contesting the upcoming polls. At the launch of the manifesto, Anamalai was flanked by BJP Mahila Morcha National President and Coimbatore South Legislator Vanathi Srinivasan, among others. In the manifesto, Anamalai has made a slew of lucrative promises. Addressing a press conference, Anamalai said that the party will work to fulfill 100 assurances in 500 days. BJP's Hyderabad candidate Madhavi Latha on April 12 exposed IMM chief Asaduddin Oweisi and said, Did Asaduddin Oweisi ever hear her telling women not to wear burqa or not to study or to get divorced or die in poverty? They asked Muslim women to take Russian medicines, they pay their college fees and try to teach them some skills, whereas he says that they are defaming them. Asaduddin ji, listen to me, he said that you are going to die. कितने भी तलाक हो जाए शादियां कर लो फिर तलाक ले लो आप अरबों से शादी होके चले जाओ आप गरीबी के दलदल में मर जाओ आप कभी कहा मैंने ये सारे बात किसी भी मुसलमान औरतों से हम जो मुसलमान पसंदा औरतों के पास जाते हैं उनसे ये बात कहते हैं कि आप ये रेशन ले लो ये मेडिकल कैंप्स कर रहे हैं आप मेडिसिन we have to pay for college fees. We have to learn some of them. We have to give them a job for tailoring women. We have to give them money. We are doing it. What they say is that they are now a threat. So they are not doing it. They are not doing it. They are not doing it. They are doing it. They are not 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 doing it. They are doing it. आदत हो गया उनको निकलेगा नहीं है आदत तक हम भी दिखा देंगे पढ़ी लिखी हैं अरे हमारे सामने सानिया मिर्जा जी हैं शबनाज़मी हैं इतने सारे बड़े-बड़े लोग हैं जो तरक्की कर कर आगे निकल गए हैं तो आप क्या मतलब ये लोग सही नहीं थे हमने कभी भी किसी भी औरत को ये नहीं कहा कि आप बुरका मत पहनो लेकिन तरक्की करो आप भी हमारे जैसे इस भारत देश की बेटी हो और आपको किसी प्रकार का भी कोई से आपको किसी प्रकार का भी नष्ट ना आना चाहिए और आपके ऊपर जाति नहीं होना चाहिए जुल्म नहीं होना चाहिए उसके प्रति आपको आवाज उठाना आपका हक है हम लोगों का उनका हक सिखाते हैं उनका मजहब के बारे में कुछ बात नहीं करते the nomination process for the second phase of Lok Sabha elections in Karnataka has begun today, with the notification for the election of 14 constituencies set to be released on Friday. Prominent candidates in the second phase include former Chief Ministers Jagdish Shetha in Belagavi, Basavarai Bomai in Haveri constituency, and Union Minister Prahlad Joshi in Dharwar constituency, all representing the BJP. 
The ruling Congress in the state and the ruling BJP at the center consider this election a matter of prestige, especially in constituencies like Shivamoga and Dharwar for BJP and Bagal Kote and Davangere for Congress. Meanwhile, the Congress has denied the existence of any Modi wave in the state. The state deputy chief minister DK Shivakumar said there is only Congress wave and the five guarantee wave. He said JDS is going to be merged with BJP as BJP will throw them out of NDA. Karnataka Home Minister and Congress leader Dr. G. Parmeshwar Parameshwar also said PM Modi came 15 times to Karnataka during 2023 elections, but Congress scored 135 seats out of 224 and formed the government. PM Modi will not have a big impact in Karnataka and all over India. We have come to file the nomination of Gulbarga Parliamentary Constituency. The big uh, trend is going on. There is no wave of uh, BJP or Modi here. It is only a Congress wave and five guarantee wave which has been there. Times. But what happened? We scored 135 seats out of 224. So we have formed the government. So Modi's impact, I don't think it will be a bigger impact. In Karnataka? In Karnataka. Or in India? All over India also. I have told you, no, beginning itself I told you the perception of Indian people has changed. So th throughout the country, but all the more in Karnataka. We will definitely win more than 20. Out of 28, we will definitely win more than 20. I, I we have done a grow, you know, homework. No, uh, the both of them are coming on 14th. There is a place called about 50 kilometers from here. Uh, so they will come and address uh, a gathering and uh, definitely uh, talk about uh, all the achievements of our government and also the negative what uh, BJP... While well, speaking at a public meeting in Muradabad, Union Home Minister Amit Shah said in 2014 and 19, the biggest reason for PM Modi becoming the PM was Uttar Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh. Yeah. मेरा उत्तर प्रदेश है सबसे बड़ा कारण उत्तर प्रदेश है 2014 में 73 सीटें और 19 में 65 सीटें दी और इसी के कारण मोदी जी पूर्ण बहुमत से प्रधानमंत्री बने मगर इस बार तीसरी बार बनाना है ना 73 चलेगी ना 65 चलेगी इस बार 80 की 80 सीटें नरेंद्र मोदी की झोली में जाएंगी हमारे गुजरात में कहते हैं पूत के लक्षण पालने में से पहला चुनाव कहां है भाई बताओ तो जरा पहला चुनाव कहां है अब ये पश्चिम वाले जैसा करेंगे ऐसा पूरा उत्तर प्रदेश करेगा ठीक है ना तो पश्चिम वालों ने बरोबर आगे बढ़ना है क्या जरा जोर से बोलो बढ़ना है क्या मित्रों आने वाले दिनों में एक-एक घर एक से एक-एक युवा एक-एक माता बहन भाई किसान दलित मजदूर पिछड़ा सभी निकलकर कमल के निशान पर बटन दबाने का ये चुनाव है भाई और बहनों ये चुनाव में आप ठाकुर सर्वेश सिंह को वोट दोगे परमेश्वर लाल सैनी को जो वोट दोगे कमल के निशान पर जो बटन दबाओगे And that was all for this hour's bulletin. For more news and updates, stay tuned to Hornbill TV. Goodbye.